I have a healthy outlook on this. I just view all white people as problematic. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what party you're in. You know, there's just going to be. And I know that's a joke, and you can right. make every joke in the world. I, yes. I just want to point out yes. that we do live in an era now yes. where lots of stuff can't happen in reverse. Yes. Like, right. I can't make that joke about you. Right. Well, that's the top dog. And under- I don't want to. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but, but I couldn't say right. what you said in reverse with blood. Sure. Absolutely. And there's lots of examples I could give of that. Right. And that's okay. Now you I c- ain't mad at that. You I'm could, just saying, let's. You just can't say it in public. That's Bill Maher pushing back on washed up Daily Show hack and race obsessed weirdo Larry Wilmore for saying all white people are problematic. Welcome to Nurk News. I'm Nurkish. And once again, classical liberals like Marr are 10 years too late to the game because it seems like they're finally starting to catch on to the racist grift being pushed by supporters of woke grievance politics. I I believe everything is in public now. What in the world is not in public? That's true. But here's the thing. That's that's just the top dog underdog dynamic is what I call it. You know, like top dog. uh, Underdog gets to make fun of top dog, but top dog. Yeah, that's true. I I, I tell you, I ain't mad at it. So, but I what mean, does, it goes beyond that. Right. I mean, sometimes it's, uh, I mean, you can find a lot of TikToks yeah. of young a lot of TikToks. Black, black women, usually women, mm-hmm. but I guess, um, saying, I just can't deal with white people today. <laughs> <laughs> some, and again. Some of that, you know what that is, though, It's Bill? just, if, can you imagine though, if, if, a, if a white person said that in reverse, oh. though? And it's not a good thing. They just don't put it, they don't put it online, but some of them do say that. But the fact that yeah. you make a TikTok out of it says yes. a lot. You have permission. You have cultural permission to do it. Right. Cultural permission. What right. a beautiful phrase. Right. But that isn't a health. That is not, to be serious, is not a healthy attitude. Well, and an unnecessary attitude. I want to. I want to know the specifics of yeah. how Whitey f- up your day. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to love these arbitrary rules of power that they come up with while playing the victim. But when you really think about it, you're not the oppressed if you can get someone fired or ruin their lives over a joke or comment they made in private. That makes you the oppressor. And look, you can have generational trauma and those types of things. It expresses itself in different ways, especially like the health of individuals and stuff like that, right. because certain traits are passed down sure. and, and as well as habits, because sometimes culturally you can uh, stop, you can, you, you can be the intervention on, on bad legacies and that types of things. Of course, education and that type of thing. But I think a lot, and I know this is old man yelling at the clouds type of thing, you know, f- for me, but... A lot of it, I believe, is that, is suffering by extinction. Like a lot of sometimes protests, like when I see protests by proxy, I feel that way, as opposed to Mm -hmm. protests when you have skin in the game. Right, You know, right. Where it's like, you don't have skin in the game, so you can say whatever the f*** you want. (laughs) If you have skin in the game, you know, you're going to act a little differently when it comes to this. And that's why Things will be in perspective, Bill, a little bit more. That's why it was dumb for them to compare the Vietnam protests in the 60s. Those kids did have skin in the game. That's correct. They did not want to get drafted and go to Vietnam. That's exactly right. That was a lot different. You know, the tragedy of Wilmore is like a lot of liberals, he used to be talented and worked on some genuinely good comedies in the 90s that is until becoming corrupted by the influence of this race griff like some sort of progressive golem. I mean, all Bill did was slightly push back on it and Wilmore starts rambling about this nebulous idea of generational trauma passed down through genes or something. Which is a little crazy considering that everyone's ancestors experienced some hardship or trauma. That's the nature of life. Yet you don't see people blaming their actions on distant relatives who were peasants during the bubonic plague or had their town pillaged by barbarians. I mean, if there's no agency and we're all acting out generational trauma, how can you really hold anyone accountable for anything? It kind of reminds me of that Thomas Sowell quote about how we're quickly reaching a point where no one is responsible for what they did, but we're all responsible for what someone else did, either in the present or the past. But let me know what you think. Do race-obsessed weirdos like Larry Wilmore have a point? Or are they just running a scam to maintain influence and power in today's society? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!